Yeah, Jade is good. good. Jade, what is your topic for this week? <laughs> um, um, my topic is a habit that I've picked up recently, which is essentially going on a virtual commute. So every morning before I start work, I'll like get up and go for a walk and take a different route every day, partly for safety, because it's not a smart idea to take the exact same route at the exact same time every day, especially if you're alone and female, um, but just partly for exploratory purposes, get to explore the neighbourhood. There's some really cool woodland near me that I've just now got the chance to explore. And I, oh, I, I like cool. this habit for three main reasons. Um, the first of which is it provides structure, because being a uni student at the moment is an endless hell of waking up, doing assignments and going to sleep again with nothing to break it up. So going on walks helps do that by like simulating leaving the house to walk to somewhere every morning. Secondly, for physical health benefits, because it's just good to get outside. And thirdly, for mental health benefits slash making me aware of the world around me, because time doesn't seem to have any meaning in lockdown. So being able to go outside and experience the weather, experience the temperature helps kind of bring me back to what season it is and oh it's foggy today or oh it's snowy today and just kind of makes me feel more linked in with the world around me was it snowing for you today it wasn't no oh no oh it's so pretty heavily down here yeah it didn't stick really much though it like on the plants and the grass and stuff yeah it built up but on the pavements and the roads nothing just wet sad puddles yeah we didn't get anything Hopefully, hopefully it snows more tonight was it like that for you wookie it was really heavy for me, but uh, also didn't settle. Yeah, it was settling on some of the trees, but not not on the pavements because the tarmac is hot because that's how tarmac be. We got nothing. Uh, but yeah, there was really really chunky flakes. And Izzy, this might this this might help you because you've been struggling a bit with um, lack of university structure, haven't you? Well, I do the chaotic version of what Jade does. Like I I will attempt to go for a walk once a day, but it's not as like routine as Jade's commute walk in the morning. So it'll be like anywhere. Yeah, I'm just walking at any random time whenever I can. And I could go out for an hour or I could go out for the whole day. Well, why don't we, why don't we try it? Because I've, because Jade, um, when you talk about like working, were you talking about uni work or are you, have you got like a job as well that you do? No, you just, just uni work. Because I've been very snowed under with assignments recently. Because that could help us because, we'll, actually I'll ask Wilkie's well because you're the other university student. How do you find the structure of of life right now um it's a it's a bit different for me because um jade and i have different like assignment structures uh and also very different uh work i won't say work ethics because that's gonna make me sound lazy but like different work styles um i bit because i I, I'm, i'm doing creative writing i can't necessarily work unless i like have um like the urge to to write it sounds really wanky but like i can sit down in front of a document for like three hours and write 200 words and then like suddenly over the next half an hour i'll do 2000 because i suddenly know what i'm doing um i do find that going for a walk does help um because uh just like getting out and like being in the fresh air having things around you that move like like walking past trees and stuff instead of just sitting in my room and then going back to my bed and then coming back to my desk and then going back to my bed like that doesn't build up any creative energy in me so uh definitely walking does help me um and i've I've also i've been doing couch to 5k uh every other day or so i've been i've been doing runs uh i'm on week two at the moment which is very exciting how's it going uh for it's going all right. It's going all right. So uh, week two for, for 20 minutes, I alternate between a minute and a half of running and two minutes of walking. Uh, and then that's slowly going to build up. So I'll, I'll be running for I'll be running for three minutes. And then it'll be like there's a point in the middle where it's like, OK, you're going to run for nine minutes and then walk for two minutes and then run for nine minutes uh, and until it builds you up to running for 30 minutes. Uh, and but I'm only on week two. But like. What I've done here is I've rambled for four minutes about something that doesn't matter. The upshot of no, it is... it does matter. Yes, I find that walking does help, but I don't do it 
uh, as structured as Jade does, mostly because I usually wake up about midday because um, I work best at night. So I will go for yeah. I'll go for a walk in the afternoon, come home, have dinner, and then work into the early hours of the morning. Yeah, I'm the I'm the opposite. <laughs> Wait, the early hours. Hold on the the early hours of the morning. Is that like one and two, or is that like six and seven? That's like one and one and two. I'd s- because I'd one, say like two, one, six, one to five, yeah. like between yeah. one in the morning and five in the morning. I'd say that that's the early hours of the morning because they come earlier. Like six, yeah, mm. yeah. I feel like six till seven, um, six six till say like even like nine. That starts to be a point where I feel like it's more reasonable for people to be waking up to to start commuting to work, and I feel like that just becomes the morning. Yeah, like, I feel like the early hours of the morning, like is something where you'd say like. I've stayed up until the early hours of the morning. I feel like it would be odd to stay up until six, unless you're trying to do some sort of like 24 hour awake challenge. Yeah. Whereas, you know, if you've had a really mad night partying on a Friday or a Saturday, or if you're a uni student any day of the week, hey. you, you can. Uh, like, what are you saying about students, Hamish? You know, well, they're getting 10,000 pound fines. Uh, you know, uh, you, you know, you've stayed up to the early hours of the morning. And so you've kind of got to that point. Yes, the the internet has confirmed this. The very early hours after midnight, because I was thinking like also like early in the morning. You would like if if I said I got up early this morning, you wouldn't think I got up at one a.m. You'd think I got up at like oh six or like seven. Like I think there's a distinction there Contact. between the early hours of the morning and the early morning. The latter being later than the former. Yeah, that's it. Well, is it like is this trying to work out when a hobbit would what meal a hobbit would have at that time of day? Yeah. Mid- midnight snack versus first breakfast. Yes. Because, um, yeah, I feel like I'm quite lucky then being... Uh, having a job in terms of it does then give me that sort of structure. It gives me the structure when you wake up. Because it's like, yeah, I've got to get up and start at nine and then, you know, normally have lunch about one until about two and then work until 5.30. And it does, you know, it does give me that. Even though, you know... Um, at the moment, it's a little bit more structured because I'm training, so they're trying to like teach me all the things I need to do. Uh, but when I go off and they they l- let me loose on the news, it'll be you know even though it'll probably be unstructured about what I write, it will still have that sort of general structure of work, no work, work, no work. But the walk could be really fun because the room that I'm currently recording in is just the room I will sit in all day because you know if I want to if I want to work, it's where my computer is. If I want to relaxed where my xbox is if i want to you know have a bit of quiet time this room i'm allowed to use just on my own but yeah it's uh, uh but i probably but a walk might help me kind of get out of that rut of i'm just stuck inside i wrote a scene from my script on a walk so i, I just had it playing in my head of like the, how the dialogue because i'd been trying to i am do creative writing as well and i was trying to work on a scene and when I sat down at my desk, I just couldn't make it work. I couldn't make the dialogue click. And so I went on a little walk and I just had the same lines repeating in my head the whole time. And so I just texted it to me and it worked. Pretty cool. And I, I think definitely like doing what you do, Jade, and like finding new places to go for walks is a really good idea. I've been exploring, there's a, a forest uh, up north uh, past the golf course where I live uh, called Pudding Bag. And I don't know why it's called Pudding Bag, but it's a great name. Uh, and I'm I'm trying to find the the paths in Pudding Bag that are least frequented, uh, and then combining them to make one circular route that the least people will be on. Uh, to of course maintain social distancing. Uh, no one usually bothers to walk there because it's you have to walk alongside the main road. So most people usually just drive. There's a car park. Uh, so if they want to go to the woods, they just drive there. So walking there is nice and easy. Um, and then yeah, I it's it's a nice way to sort of get some exercise without having to like go to your local park that's going to be full of people, some of whom won't be respecting social distancing and and wearing masks and stuff. So uh, I think d- definitely trying to find a walk. You you mentioned uh, during my segment, Jade, that you mentioned like the green of sunlight going through leaves. Like tr- trying to find a nice green place to walk, I think is much preferable to like I'm just going to do like a lap of my house. Definitely. And the other side of it is that if you start exploring further out, like with public footpaths and stuff, 
sometimes you find really muddy places. Like my most recent walk, I found a footpath that goes for quite a way, like around, like in the mud. And in some places I was like ankle deep in mud, which was fun just because it just because it was exercise like trampling through three miles of ankle deep mud is is exercise for your legs and i just haven't really had many opportunities to exercise in lockdown so that was fun and i also got to navigate my way through the mud and make sure i didn't lose a boot and it was just fun and so uh, today, Jade, I believe nice you'll be thought. reading for the part of uh, Peppa Pig's little brother, Georgie. George. Uh, <laughs> is it George or George? I suppose she calls him it's George. George. I, I thought it was George. I don't know. I haven't watched it since I was six. It's George. Uh, and the line is, oink. Because Peppa Pig was too young for me. Not really. It, it was a bit young for me. I, I was just about aging out of it as it came out, but I watched like a couple of episodes because they were just on. I was Peppa Pig age, I think. But you I also, you also, have, a, you also have a younger brother as well. I watched Twins. That's true. I so had longer of um, CBBC. Yeah. yeah. No, CBBC. That's the baby one. Yeah, babies. Mm. C, C but you know, there's an episode. There was an episode of Peppa Pig that was banned in Australia. Why? Uh, because it, because uh, it was trying to, because obviously it's based in the UK, and it was trying to teach kids that spiders aren't scary or dangerous, oh, oh. and so you shouldn't be scared Uh-oh. of them. And obviously, yeah. Australia spiders are very dangerous, and you should not be a child that goes and plays with them. Like it's completely different messaging. And so, yeah, the episode was banned in Australia; they weren't allowed to air that it. That makes sense. Yeah, that's 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 a that's a fun Peppa Pig fact. Yeah. So, more you Jade, know. what's what? I, I I feel like we can tell, but what review are you going to give? Going for walks. I'm going to give going for walks a good good. And it's a habit hey. that I'd like to try and keep up in the future. Thank you so much for checking out that short clip from the most recent episode of the Boy Review podcast. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and maybe check out, you know, a few other clips from our most recent episode and our previous ones. You could also even watch like the whole episode if you want to put in some time. Or if you don't like watching big, long things on YouTube, you can also find our podcast on every single podcast service. So just look for for your review, and you'll find us. We're out there. Why are you still here? Did you did you think did you think something would happen? Go 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 what go watch YouTube. Go or do something else. You know, live your life. Don't wait around here for me to say something funny.